Now for large areas, we don't use square centimetres because if you wanted to measure the area of a room, for example, you certainly wouldn't want to be measuring little tiny one centimetre squares. So what we do is we use metres instead. Have a look at this ruler. This ruler is one metre long and you need to imagine a square that is one metre long and one metre wide. Now I've made up one with newspaper today. Let's have a look at it. Now you can see it's quite large. One metre long, one metre wide. Now let's see how big my whiteboard is. about the edge. There we go. Alright, now you can see that my whiteboard is actually shorter than one metre and longer than one metre, but not by much. So I could estimate that the area of my whiteboard is about one metre squared. If I were to put lots of these on the floor of the room, I would find that the room has quite a few metres squared. So let's say these are the dimensions of the room. It's five metres by four metres. Let's work out the area. Area equals five times four that's the length times the width. Four fives are 20. And now all we need to do is put a M for metres and don't forget a little two that says it's square metres for area.